Good afternoon. Um, I'm here to talk about Baybayin. When I talk about Baybayin, a lot of the younger folks will already know a little bit about it because they look for the internet and they've seen some of it. Um, I guess with you folks, uh, we have a mixed bag, so I'll start with um, talking about a little bit about myself first. To introduce myself, I'm Norman de los Santos. I learned by Bayin from my father when I was a, when I was a little boy. And um, growing up in Mindoro, I also learned about Sula Mungyan, which is the indigenous writings of the native Mungyan of Mindoro. Um, now that people realize that Filipinos have a native writing system, um, I'm playing a little bit of a slide where it shows a lot of artwork. This is basically a modernized version of our ancient writing system, but I'll give you a little history about it. The history of Southeast Asia and India, the Philippines, Asia, East Asia. Uh, when we talk about the history of, uh, of the whole area, we talk about migrations and waves of migrations. Um, a lot of this influenced uh, native uh, Filipino culture from um, years later when uh, Lopez de Legazpi came, he noted in his uh, journals that we were writing Malay script. Well, Malay script, basically like the Javanese, um, they know about it because they come down to Indonesia and stuff. And they also know about Islam because of uh, a history with the, with the Moors. And in 1650, they also said the Philippines was trading heavily with Borneo. So, when they say our writing system was similar to Malay, um, they actually were talking about Baybayin right there. That's a clue. Because they know about Arabic script. So why would they call it a Malay script? Uh, the Boxer Codex from uh, Charles Boxer's collection also described how we write in bamboo. 1620, Pina Cristiana, which is a prayer book, was uh, published in the Philippines. It's the first ever book published in the Philippines. It contains Baybayin and Spanish and Tagalog. And the Mangyan Heritage Center volunteer work with them. They actually teach uh, the indigenous writing Sulat Mangyan to their students. They have a few schools right now. They're building them up slowly and they're teaching the younger generation of indigenous people to. Black script. And this is Kulitan, like I said, it's more modern. Uh, they adapted it into their language because the Kapampangan language is a little bit different in language education. That's, uh, that's, I think, it's a given. Um, we have a long way to go too, as far as government support, because Baybayin is not being recognized right now officially. Uh, thank you very much. I'd like to thank you for uh, this cool thing that you brought us together. It's a calligraphy of your name and by way.